हेलो एंड वेलकम टू राथॉर्ड्स आई एस एंड वेलकम बैक टू इंडियन जोग्राफी सीरीज आई एम उशस्त्री योर मेंटर सो एक्चुअली वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग दिस सेकेंड चैप्टर दैट इज अबाउट फिजियोग्राफी ऑफ आवर इंडिया सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फिजियोग्राफिकल डिविजन ऑफ आवर इंडिया सो वी कंप्लीटेड हिमालयाज ग्रेट प्लेन्स एंड प्लेट्यूज सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट इंडियन डेजर्ट so here we are going to see about great indian desert so we are going to see what is exactly the meaning of desert and some important characteristics of our indian desert and we are also going to see about some interesting facts regarding how this third desert had been originated and what is the geological history of our indian desert and how many types of slopes or orientations that are present in our indian desert and even we are having a look on the geographical landforms in this third desert and finally we are also going to see the physical features of indian desert and as well as we are going to see some important characteristics of indian desert so if you want to know all these details so without skipping the video so watch completely so let's get started with our topic today so here as i said we are going to talk about the great indian desert so the great indian desert is also called as thar desert so great indian desert is also called as thar desert it is the one of the physiographic regions of india so as we studied so we studied about different physiographic divisions like himalayas northern plains peninsula coastal plains islands yes this is also one of the important physiographic regions of our country so what is the meaning of a desert so i am saying that indian desert or great indian desert third desert so first what is the meaning of this word desert so desert is nothing but it is an arid or semi arid region and this desert is also called as marustal or a dead land so other name for desert is called as marustal or a dead land so here the great indian desert is also called as thar desert so where it is located so if you draw the map of india so here exactly we can see this thar desert is located correct so here the great indian desert which is mainly located in the north west part of our aravalli ranges so this is very important so the north west part of aravalli ranges so the great indian desert is located and one more important fact here is so this third desert which is lies both in india and pakistan about 80 percentage of area of this third desert which is located in india and remaining 15 percentage which is located in pakistan and in india so many students they will be having a doubt that this third desert which is located or seen only in rajasthan but it is not correct so in india it is mostly seen in rajasthan but even it is also spread in some parts of gujarat punjab and haryana so here you have to remember the four states where this third desert is uh, present that is rajasthan gujarat punjab and haryana and most of the students they will be doing mistake here and if you are talking about this desert of india which receives very low rainfall it is below 15 cm that means i can say it is less than 150 mm of rainfall per year and one important feature of desert here is we can see there will be a very low rainfall so there is low rainfall and also we can see there is high evaporation so already the rainfall is very low the precipitation is very low and whatever the water that is present that is evaporated fastly so because of low rainfall and high evaporation we can see there will be very low vegetation cover in this desert region and you have to know some important words that is bagar region of rajasthan so the semi arid region of this thar desert is called as bagar region 
and in this bagar region we will be having short seasonal streams short seasonal streams are seen in this bagar region and one more important thing that you have to remember here is the river luni river luni is only a ra only one of the large river which is present in this region and we can see some fertile lands they are found in this bagar region so those fertile lands they are called as rohi so you can get a question like so bagar what is the meaning of bagar so what is this word rohi so like that you can get a question regarding the terminology also so because of that we are also going to discuss that so bagar it is nothing but semi arid land or semi arid region of this star as it is called as bagar and rohi is nothing but as i said in this bagar region we have some seasonal streams will be there so those seasonal streams are helpful for agriculture so wherever we can see the fertile lands in this bagar region so those fertile lands they are called as rohi and now let us see the origin of the thar desert so this is very interesting so if we are talking about the origin of the thar desert so if you see the rock structure in this thar desert so the rock structure of the thar desert which is mainly the part of our peninsular plateau but this region which mainly went into extreme climatic conditions so because of this extreme climatic conditions and surface geomorphic features they are like other desert but actually it belongs to this peninsular plateau region so as per the surface landform features of this thar desert so it is one of the largest physiographic region and it is mainly formed after the formation of indian plains so i think you might know about this formation of indian plains right so after formation of himalayas so whenever this himalayan rivers are flowing whenever they are bringing the sediments and those sediments had been settled and that led to the formation of indian plains that means you can see this thar desert which mainly formed after the formation of indian plains and especially so one important period which is related to the origin of the star desert here is mesozoic era so during the mesozoic era the land forms of the star desert they were under sea and if you see how can i say this star desert which was under sea during this mesozoic era so because of the evidences of some wood fossils and as well as marine deposits they are mainly seen in this bramsar area near jaisalmer so this mainly provides evidence that so during mesozoic period this thar desert was under sea or we can say there was marine submergence of land so there was evidence of marine submergence of land and one important controversial topic here is the exact date of origin of thar desert it is a one controversial topic some mainly consider that it mainly approximately about 4000 to 10000 years old some says that it was mainly formed around 1500 to 2000 bc so the exact date or the time of the formation of the thar desert is a controversial topic so this is about in detail regarding origin of thar desert and now let us try to see one important topic that is the slopes or orientation of this thar desert so the thar desert of indian uh, desert the thar desert or the indian desert which is having mainly two parts of base of slope so first one is northern part and second one is southern part so the slope of this northern part of indian desert which is towards the sin so northern part slope it is towards sin and southern part slope it is towards run of kutch and what are the geographic uh, geomorphic land forms that we can see in this thar desert yes desert which have the sand plains like right so here the sand plains they mainly consist of sand dunes so in this sand dunes we will be having different types and especially 
we can see barchins and as well as longitudinal sand dunes in this star desert so here barchins are nothing but they are crescent shape or like half crescent shape sand dunes they are mainly found in very large areas and we have this longitudinal dunes right so these longitudinal dunes are mostly found in the border of india and pakistan so at this india and pakistan border we have this longitudinal dunes and otherwise in the most of india so as i said 85 percentage of this third desert which is present in india we can see this barchan dunes and apart from that sand plains we can also see this chatra or mushroom rocks so that will be in this shape so we can see because of the erosion of the wind so here we have hard rock and here we have soft rock for example this is a rock structure so here if we have the hard rock here and if we have the soft rock so because of the blowing of the wind so there is a de degeneration or we can see there is erosion of this uh, rock which is mainly seen and it will form this type of structure so this type of structures are called as mushroom rocks so mushroom rocks or chaitra rocks they are mainly seen in the star deserts and apart from that we can see there are also shifting so we can see shifting sand dunes so these shifting sand dunes are locally called as driyan so driyans are nothing but shifting sand dunes are also seen here and apart from that oasis is also found in the southern parts of tar desert oasis means nothing but the place where water is available in the desert it is called as oasis so oasis they are seen in especially southern part okay so this is about the important geomorphic landforms that we can see in the tar desert and now let us try to see some important characteristic features of this indian desert so here indian desert which is mainly seen in the north west of aravalli hills so as you all know that here we have very less very less vegetation because of low rainfall and high evaporation and the rainfall is very much less that is around 150 mm per year and if you are talking about fauna in this third desert we can see the wide range of fauna for example we can see black buck chinkara indian wild ass red fox peacock wolf leopard asiatic wild cat so apart from that in rajasthan we can also see one critically endangered bird species called as so what is that critically endangered bird species that is seen in rajasthan that is great indian bustard gib great indian bustard it is also the state bird of rajasthan so the number it is decreasing drastically because of some threats which are mainly faced by this great indian bustard it is also seen in this uh, rajasthan and in this uh, grassland region and if you are talking about the fertility of this uh, indian desert so actually we are having dry river beds for example river saraswati river bed which was dry so whenever we can see this dry river beds so we can understand that this region was once fertile and rajasthan beger region is there and in this beger region of rajasthan it is a semi arid region so we can see short seasonal streams that mainly flow and these short seasonal streams they support agriculture and the fertile patches they are called as rohi as we discussed and if you see the rivers so the important river here is river luni actually this river luni which mainly originates in pushkar valley of arvali range and we can see some playas some playas they are mainly seen and some lakes with brackish water so these playas and lakes so they are very important source of uh, obtaining salt and one more important thing that you have to remember regarding the star desert is it is the world's wealthiest desert so this is very very important 
so tar desert it is world's wealthiest desert because actually so it is one of the largest producer of wool and we can get some important minerals like gypsum and as well as kaolin they are also found in this region so because of this this tar desert it is called as the world's wealthiest desert so these are the some important things that you have to remember regarding this topic of indian desert or third desert or great desert of india and if you want to get the pdf of this class you can join the telegram channel and the link is given in the description box and one more thing is if you really like this video so please hit the like button and share this video to your friends who are in need so by this i'm concluding and don't forget to subscribe to our thoughts is academy thank you so much